All right. Well, praise God. Well, happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Pastor Jose and Patricia, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Band, a church you can call home. Yes. If you don't have a home church, join us. Amen. Praise God. Where we honor God, love family, serve others, and we pursue excellence. Wow. And we have a passion for God and a passion for souls. Amen. Amen. As a child of God. <laughs> We are the church. We should have a passion for God, for, for souls, you know, because he says go into all the world yes. and bring them in, you know, be ministers of reconciliation. That's us, church. I don't know if yeah. nobody ever told you, but you need to know. You yeah. are the church. You are yes. the body of Christ. And he wants you to go. Yes. Nobody else. Don't look anywhere else. You know, hey, wherever you happen to be, wherever you happen to work, wherever you go on vacation, mm -hmm. wherever you live, that's your pulpit. That's yeah. your area of ministry. Amen. So get busy. Amen. Yes. You can do all things through Christ. Christ. Amen. You see, you read about all these Bible heroes telling Jesus, I can't do it. Or telling God, I can't do it. I can't do it. He's already qualified you, called you, and anointed oh. you to do all these things. Amen. Oh, we ain't preaching yet. Wait a minute. <laughs> we want to welcome all our NBC family. We want to welcome all those that are viewing or watching and listening. Amen. Yeah. Prepare yourselves to receive. God is ready, so you get ready. Amen. And be ready because He wants to bless you. He wants to encourage you. He wants to change you. And He wants to, once in a while, He wants to spank us a little bit and correct us. Amen. Oh, that's but that's awesome. okay because He's our Heavenly Father. We're His yes. children. So the Heavenly Father is going to take care of His children. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. So we're going to be talking today about let's go to Jesus. You know, hey, let's go watch the Cowboys. No, let's go. <laughs> let's go to the club or let's go shopping you know uh -huh. we always want to go somewhere let's go to jesus uh -huh. amen that's who you can go and that's who you can count on every time amen, amen. so amen. let's remember this amen he's not finished with you yet that's it. he's got great plans for you you just yes. got to know this amen if somebody told you different it's too bad mm -hmm. find out what god says you know yes. everybody gives you a report whose report are you gonna believe yes. their, their report or god's report mm -hmm. let's go to jesus that's amen it. praise it. god i yeah. love him amen well, before I'm excited already, you can tell. Grab the Bible <laughs> and let's make this declaration together. Amen. Amen. It says like this. This is this my is Bible. Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. I guarantee you, your mind is alert. And you know. Amen. So Let's get all these negative thoughts out about, I don't want to be here. <laughs> I don't want to hear this, you know. <laughs> well, you want to hear this, you know. Hey, when mom and dad was going to tell you something, uh -huh. you didn't want to hear it, but they were going to tell you. Yeah, Amen. Yeah. And God's got some, got a message for you, yeah. but you need to open up and uh -huh. let him come in and sup with you. That's what the Bible says. That, hey, I'm knocking, but you're not opening. You're not opening. We got to open up. How's it going? How is he? Well, he's going to help us if we let him in. Yeah. If we don't let him in, I guarantee you, the words you speak and your words and your actions are going to draw the wrong person in. Yeah. And yeah. that is the enemy. Mm -hmm. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Amen. Amen. And uh, let's not open the doors to him. That's it. So praise God. <laughs> I'm excited. I don't know about you. Uh, before we get going, uh, I was reading to the church family here a few minutes ago, those of you that are watching, those of you that are listening, about a scripture break. I, I, I do a scripture break on uh, Facebook. So uh, anyway, if you want to hear it, just send me a friend request. <laughs> it says, your, your attention. The devil, the world are constantly striving for your attention. Mm -hmm. I remember in grade school, I remember my parents, anybody, they want your attention. And they'll say, give me your attention. I want your attention. Amen. So. This is important. It says the minute your feet hit the floor in the mornings, he, the devil is right there to place these cares, anxieties, worries, fears, doubt, frustrations, stress, sicknesses, and so many more. Amen. You can stop this now, okay? You can change this. You, even before you, the day begins. Man, I just woke my eyes up, man. I got, already got all kinds of cares on me. Amen. Remember, the devil has no place in your life or your home. The devil has no power over you. The devil has no authority in your life. When you rebuke him, he has to flee. 
Because he has to be obedient to the word of God. Mm -hmm. And the word of God says submit to him. Resist him. And he has to flee. Amen. So if he's hanging out with you. It's because you're being too much of a buddy with him. <laughs> Shut the door. Or they will let him go. Amen. Tell him where to go. He can go to hell. It's okay to say that. <laughs> Since they will go to hell. Or <laughs> go back home. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay. So pay no attention to him. Seek God first. When you wake up every morning with the praise on your lips, with a song in your heart, and the scripture in your mind, nothing can stop you, church, except yourself. Mm -hmm. Amen. When you look in the mirror, when you got up this morning, you looked in the mirror, and man, you was looking so nice and so pretty, and you know, this is your biggest problem. <laughs> we got to fix this problem right here. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because the enemy, if you don't, the enemy will come and steal, kill, and destroy yes. Amen. So, yes, hallelujah. God, see, I mean, he's not finished with you yet. He wants He wants to use you. Amen. And if you're not being used, it's not because he don't want to use you. Mm -hmm. It's because we're not making ourselves available. available. We got to be available to him. Amen. It's not about your abilities. It's about your availability. Are you making yourself available? Let him. <laughs> he can take care of it. But we, we have to be available for him to use us. Amen. Mm -hmm. Woo, hallelujah. So let's go to Jesus. That's a beautiful song. It, it, let me read it. Lead, well, I'm just going to read you a little bit of it. But it says, let's go to Jesus and show him our hearts. Mm -hmm. Show him our pain. Show him our scars. Let's go to Jesus together. We'll meet and lay all our burdens at Jesus' feet. Mm -hmm. You know, when you go to Jesus and you lay all your burdens on him, mm -hmm. leave it there. Yeah. Don't take it back. That's it. He knows what to do with it. We don't. You know, sometimes we just get frustrated and say, well, he don't, he's not doing nothing with it. Mm. So I'm going to take it back and help him out, son. No, he don't need our help. No, he just wants right. you to leave it he's there. Right. It. Amen? Amen? Just leave it there. It says, give, cast all these cares on him. All means all. Mm -hmm. Amen? Uh, <clears throat> you can be opening your Bibles to 1 Peter 5. Okay. We're going to be reading from 6 to 10. But it's, uh, listen to this. Be carefree. Be carefree as you reach, as you reach your God-given goal. He's got a goal for you. He's got a plan for you. Amen. And all these plans have, will succeed. There's no defeat there. Amen. But we have to make ourselves available. And we're going to reach our goal if we only trust Him. If we only go to Jesus. Amen. And listen, life brings in, uh, circumstances. Condition situations that cause anxieties, mm. cause cares, mm. worries, fears, problems, and troubles. Mm. Amen. You can stay there. You can live there if you want to. But you don't have to. That's because it. Jesus went to the cross. Mm -hmm. And he paid for it all. Yes, but we got to be, be obedient to what he's telling us to do. Amen. Amen. Emotions can run high. You can lose control. You lose strength uh, because of what you're carrying. What are you carrying? You're carrying this extra cares. You're carrying extra, extra weights yes. that God didn't mean for you to have. That's it. That's Amen. It. He says, give it to me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Some of us are overloaded with cares. Mm -hmm. Some of us are overloaded with these weights that we have to give. And he's just wondering, when, when are you going to give it to him? He says, give, and you're still holding on. Amen. We got to give it, give it all to him. So 1 Peter 5, 6 through 10. Let's go there. And uh, I'll be reading from my new Bible, the Super Giant Print Bible. <laughs> Woo, don't even need glasses. We're going to start at verse 6. So, I'm reading from uh, King James. It says, Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. And you know, be faithful where you are, because promotion comes from God. Trust Him. He's going to promote you in due time. Amen. He's going to promote you. Just be faithful. And verse 7 says this, casting some of your cares on Him, for oh. He cares for you. Oh. Okay, I just want to make sure you're listening. <laughs> he says, cast all your cares. All. A double L in caps. All your cares on Him because why he careth for you. And, and number eight says this. Be sober, be vigilant. Because your adversary, the, the devil, mm -hmm. as a roaring lion walketh about seeking who he may devour. 
Remember a while back we talked about this. <laughs> your enemy is not your neighbor, not your spouse, <laughs> not your in-laws or outlaws. <laughs> your only enemy you have is uh, the devil. And it tells us right there. Amen. We're supposed to be getting along with one another. But the enemy is going to see to it that we're busy against one another. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes we come in the church and we fight at church. Mm. Or we don't even talk to somebody in church. We're always concerned about hurry up, Pastor, so I can go watch the Cowboys. <laughs> well, you're not, you're not even catching what he's saying. You, it's, it's just going over. You got to be able to receive what God has for you. Lord, I want to receive from you. He said, well, I'm giving it, but you ain't catching it. Amen. You know, a pitcher, a good pitcher, he throws the ball. And that catcher is there for a reason. He's here to catch. So we need to be good catchers. Well, you know what you could be? You could be a good sponge mm -hmm. and just soak up all the word God has sending your way. Mm -hmm. Amen. Soak it up. You know, hey, if the person next to you ain't getting it, I'm going to get it for him. <laughs> I'm going to get it for me. Amen. So you make sure you get it. And put it to use. So be sober and be vigilant because the adversary of the devil is as a warring lion walketh about seeking who he may devour. How does he know who to devour? What words are coming out of you? What actions are you doing? Amen. So you got to be careful. And <clears throat> verse 9 says, Whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. But the God of all grace, who hath called us unto his uh, eternal glory by uh, Christ Jesus after ye have suffered a while make you perfect sta stable strength and st and settle you and verse uh, 10 11 says to him be glory and dominion forever and forever amen, amen. praise God amen so we're supposed to do what he's told us to do is give it to him. Let me read it to you. Verse 7 out of the uh, Amplified says, Casting all your cares, all your anxieties, all your worries, all your concerns, once and for all on him. For he cares about you with deep affections mm -hmm. and watches over you very carefully. You know, it's just like a shepherd. He's our shepherd. And he yes. watches over his sheep. Yes. We're his people. Amen. He's not going to let these things come on you. Verse, uh, 1 Peter 5, 7, <clears throat> this verse, God cares for us and will exalt us in the right time if we submit to him and cast our cares upon him. This verse is a source of hope and comfort to those who are overwhelmed with the troubles in this life. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have troubles, <laughs> but no, he says, I've gone through this and it'll come to you, but let it go. I made you an overcomer. You're an overcomer. It says, so let go and let God. Amen. Everyone knows this, but guess what? We don't do it. We still want to hold on to it. It's like, why am I holding on to this? You know, it's forget it. You know, it's just like a hoarder. Are you hoarding all this? <laughs> what do you need those things for? Get rid of them, you know. Give them away and do whatever, but get rid of it. Oh, my goodness. The Bible says to renew your mind daily. Uh -huh. Renew your mind as often as needed and get those negative thoughts out of you all the time. Amen. Don't let them say that. <laughs> so let go and let God. <coughs> Remember we've said this so long. You need to write this and have it somewhere, everywhere you need to. You know, sometimes you got to remind yourself, magnify God and not the problem. Yeah, yeah. Because it's going to be there. The oh, mind yeah. is busy. It's a battlefield. Yeah. You know, get rid of it. Delete, you know. I mean, we're good in the computer, you know. We delete what we don't want. We just delete, 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 delete. We need to do the same thing with this computer. Mm. We got to delete it. Say, hey, keep popping up. We say, hey, I'm giving it to God. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not messing with it no more. You go mm. and talk to him. Yeah. I've given it to him. So magnify him, not the problem. If God has told you to put them down or give it up, don't pick it up again. Yeah. Don't take it back. Don't take back the sin, the care, the problem, the troubles, the bad habits, or the bad companies. You know, as a child of God, I've said it so many times, he's going to bring the right people around you. Amen. Some for a season. Mm -hmm. Short season, mid-season, or long season. But he's going to bring those, those around you. 
well, you know, hey, these, these are my buds. Well, if the buds <laughs> is taking you in the wrong way, mm -hmm. then you need some new friends. Yeah. And you know, when you give your life to him, he's going to bring the right people around you. That's it. People that are going to pray for you. People that are just going to uh, build you up yeah. and pray for you. Sometimes you don't even know. That's it. Amen. So Hebrews 12, 1 and 2 in the Amplified, I'll read it to you. It says, therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, all these, you know, there's a great cloud of fans watching the Cowboys, you know. And man, yeah. they're just so happy. But we got Christian brothers and sisters and all these Bible heroes that are watching us. And they're just pepping us on, you know. Mm -hmm. So they're watching by, excuse me, it says, who by faith have testified to the truth of God's absolute faithfulness. Strip off every unnecessary weight mm -hmm. that he, that the sin which so easily and uh, cleverly entangles us. Yeah. Let us run with endurance and determination yeah. the race yeah. that is set before us. Amen. We're to press on. Amen. If you fall, I've said it. Mm -hmm. If you fall, we can all fall. But can you get up? Yeah. You got to get up. You don't, you don't stay down. We may have some loss. We may have some failures. We may have some setbacks. But hey, it's time to get up, dust yourself, and press on. Oh. Don't stay down. Don't let nobody hold you down. You know, uh, mm -hmm. God has great plans for you. Yes. And you know, if you want to fulfill, don't let your words, don't let people of this world or your words keep you from fulfilling what God has called you to do. Amen? Amen. <laughs> I mean that 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 right there can ring real loud for you, amen. Yeah. He's got great plans for you, but listen, the world, people, distractions, your words are going to keep you from fulfilling what God wants you to do. So let's be careful, amen. amen. Be careful with your words and yeah. your actions, amen. And press on in what God wants you to do. The Bible says you can do all things through Christ. Things. So what's holding me back? Mm -hmm. Me. <laughs> The world, distractions, things, whatever it is, you know, saying, Lord, help me. You know, whatever's holding me back, I just give it to you. Amen. I want to press on with you. Amen. Amen. And press on and press on and keep going. Yeah. Don't hold back. I forgot what it was. <laughs> Verse 2 says, look, look in a way from all that will distract us. Uh -huh. And that's much. And focusing our eyes on Jesus, who is the author and perfecter yes. of our faith. The first incentive of our belief and the one who brings our faith to maturity remember that we are growing we're growing each and every day we yes, grow we and mature in the things of god just like if you want to climb up that ladder you know to get up to where you need to go you got to climb one step at a time we're growing as christians we're not baby christians of our life we got to grow and mature so he can use us the more yeah. you grow, the more he's going to use us. New levels, new devils. Oh, yeah. Amen. The higher you go, guess what? And we're fighting the devils. But as you go higher and mature higher, new levels, new devils. Mm -hmm. So you got to be careful. But still, there's none, no devil greater than my God. That's Amen. It. And you're going to, he's backing us. And he's there for us. And if we're speaking the word of God, ain't no devil in hell going to stop you. Amen. So let's remember that. Uh, who for the joy of accomplishing the goals set before him endured the cross disregarding the shame he went through some shame you think you've gone through some shame mm -hmm. you know lay up in the cross naked beaten mm -hmm. you know I mean it was it was shameful mm -hmm. amen and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God revealing his deity yes. remember Father, Son, and Holy Spirit there's three and we are three part being mm -hmm. spirit soul body yes. amen Ooh, hallelujah yes. his authority interceding for us and and the completion of his work amen so you're not by yourself don't say when well, you know, i'm doing this all by myself mm -hmm. no you're not no, he's, he's with us he says he never leaves us nor forsakes us no, he's right there with you there. amen you just gotta mm -hmm. know how to have relationship amen. and talk to him and then you know, instead of sharing it on Facebook or giving it giving it to somebody else, you know, at the club or or whoever that got bigger problems than you do, yeah, they can't help you. 
no. say, oh man, you know what? I, I know how to deal with that. I just have a few more drinks. Well, have a few drinks of mm. the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Get high yeah. with the most high. Yeah. Amen. There ain't no side yeah. effects on that, you know? That's it. That's that's what we need. We need him. Amen. He made us, he put us here to, to win. He put us here to succeed and not be held back. Mm -hmm. Only thing holding you back is yourself. Yeah. Amen. You gotta see yourself the way he sees you. A winner, a champion, and an overcomer. Uh-huh. Knowing that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Woo, hallelujah. You're the anointed yeah. one of God. Going somewhere to happen for somebody. Woo, man. Blessing me. <laughs> Hebrews yeah. uh, 13, 5 and 6 in the Amplified says, Let your character, your moral essence, your inner nature be free from the love of money. Shun greed. No. Be financially ethical. Being content with what you have. For he has said, I will never under any circumstances desert you, nor give you up, nor leave you without support. Amen. Nor will I in any degree leave you helpless. That's it. Okay? Like I said, <laughs> the problem is not up there. The problem is here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got to deal yeah. with this. Amen. Mm -mm -mm. Woo, hallelujah. Nor will yeah. I forsake or let you down or relax my hold on you. Assuredly not. Verse 6 says, so we take comfort and are encouraged and confidently say, yeah. the Lord is my helper yeah. in times of need. Mm -hmm. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? me? Amen. Praise God. Nothing. I guarantee you, when David went against Goliath, man, that's the biggest problem right there. But you know, you face these things each and every day. Mm -hmm. But you know who's I am and you know who's backing you. And you know who's with you. So you're not facing these things by yourself. All I need to do is learn the word. Meditate on the word. And speak the word. Amen. Amen. And the edit, submit, uh, take authority. It says when you take authority. And you submit yourself. And you speak the word. Enemy has to flee. Yes he does. Amen. Just let him know. It says <laughs> you have no power over me. That's it. You have no control over me. That's it. And you have to flee. You have to go. It didn't say just walk away. Mm -hmm. Amen. It says flee means run away. He has to go. Vamos. Vamonos. Mm -hmm. It says <clears throat> this is all the more reasons to seek only the true and living God. Matthew 6.33 says but <clears throat> seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness mm -hmm. and all these things will be added unto you as well. Yes. He cares and comforts believers yeah. in Christ Jesus. He also offers the following words again. It says, uh, casting all cares on him because he cares for yes. you. This is New King James, for, uh, yeah. uh, Peter, first, uh, Peter 5, 7. Psalms uh, 55, 22. Let's go there. <laughs> Hallelujah. I've got a mark here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Psalms 55 and verse 22. Mm -hmm. Are you there? Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. He wants us to do something. Yeah. We just got to be obedient. And we got to do it. Psalms uh, 55 and 22 says what? Mm -hmm. Cast thy burden upon Jesus. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he, and he shall sustain thee. Mm -hmm. He shall never suffer the righteous be to, to be moved. Be. Amen. Yeah. So, but we got to do something. We got to give it, cast it. Yeah. You know, cast is just not hand over. Mm -hmm. Cast means throw. <laughs> Amen. You ever cast the net? Mm. Well, you just don't drop the net. I mean, it's right there by your feet. Mm. You got to cast it out in the water. Yeah. Or whatever you're going to catch, you got to cast it at. So we got to cast it. Give it. He says, cast it on me. Give it to me. Mm -hmm. Throw it here. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Man. Now go to, go back uh, 37, 37 and, and uh, 5. Man. Psalms? Psalms, yes. Psalms. 37 and 5. Hey, man, we're using the Word of God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Those of you here, those of you uh, listening, those of you watching, <laughs> we use right. the Word of God. So, amen. That's a good one. Yes. Psalms 37 and 5 says what? Mm -hmm. It says, Commit thy ways unto the Lord. Trust mm -hmm. also in Him, and He shall bring it pass. to pass. Amen. Amen. So, commit thy ways, or commit thy way unto the Lord. Amen. That's something I need to do. Now, from there, go to 
Proverbs uh, 16.3. Proverbs 16.3. Proverbs. Mm -hmm. Are you there? Proverbs 16.3 says the same thing. It says, Commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. Amen. Amen. So, commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. Uh, you know, commit yourself to Him. Submit yourself to Him. And, and, and do what He's called you to do. Know that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Amen. Know that, hey, no matter what, get your mind straight. You know, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get up and I'm going to praise Him. Put a praise in you. Put yes. a pep in your step, you know. <laughs> yes. Instead of, oh my God, I feel so bad. Oh no. man, it's Monday, I'm dragging. No. You know, I'm so tired. No. I didn't go to church, but no, I'm still so tired, no. you know. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. Lift yourself up. Say, man, I could do all things through Christ. Thank yeah. you, Lord, for this beautiful day. His word says, Rejoice and be glad in you yes. each and every day that he's given yes. us, you know. I'm just going to praise you. You know, praise is is power. Praise is not uh, uh, lack, you know. Praise is, is a powerful thing. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm going to praise him, you know. When I don't know what else to say, I'm going to praise him because praise is, is power. Prayer yes. is power. Yes. But we got to do these things. Yes. You know, if you let your flesh... Take over. Your flesh don't want to do nothing. That's it. Flesh just wants to be lazy, comfy. Mm -hmm. You know, oh man, I could have stayed yeah. in bed. I want to stay in bed. Oh, oh yeah. Forget it. <laughs> forget it. Prayer allows the believers to enter into God's presence, carrying our cares, and to leave them there. Mm -hmm. Don't take them back. Amen. The Holy yeah. Spirit will help our inner abilities. Yes, He will. Lord, help me. Yeah, He knows. You need help. When you need help, Go to him. Don't go yes. to Facebook. Don't oh, go to the internet. Don't go to no, the club. No. Don't run off to somebody and give it to somebody that can't even help themselves. That's it. That's it. Come on now. You know, hey, when I'm feeling down like this, I go and do this. And you know it's no good. You know, well, <laughs> no, no. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Glory and thanks to God for all his help and to all his people. Yes. He gives happiness, joy, peace to overcome circumstances. Yes, Jesus yes. overcame all situations mm -hmm. so that you can do the same thing. Yes. And what he did, he shows his great examples. Mm -hmm. If he did it, I can do it. He yeah. said, I've gone yeah. through this. And it's going to happen to you. People are going to hate you because they hated me. They're going to hate you. Yeah. Still, you stay focused on the things of God and know God loves you. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to press on. I'm not going to let, like I said, people... Uh, this world, people uh, hold me back from what God wants yeah. me to do. Big or small, it doesn't matter. You know, if you get in the world, immediately they're going to start competing. They're oh, going to yeah. start comparing. And you're not big enough. And oh, you're not gosh. good enough. Yeah. You're not qualified. All right. I mean, immediately you're disqualified. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I'm going to stay focused on what God wants me to do. And I, He's yeah. called me and He's qualified me. And if he's qualified me, I'm not looking for your approval. Mm -hmm. yeah, right, yeah. I'm pleasing him okay. and not people. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let's remember this. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Right. Romans 8, 37 in the easy to read version says, mm -hmm. But in all things, in all excuse me, but in all these, in parentheses, I got, but in all these cares, troubles, problems, and situations, mm -hmm. we have complete victory. We are more than conquerors yes. through God who has shown his love for us. Amen. He's shown his love for us. For God so loved the world yes. that he gave, he sacrificed his only begotten son. Mm -hmm. Amen. So that's how much he loves you. You don't have to question that. Like I said, the problem is not there. Up, It's here <laughs> in us. And we got to just get, get busy for God. <laughs> Amen. Romans 8, 837 in the um, God's uh, world translation says, the one love, the one who loved us, gives us our overpowering victory over all uh -huh. these difficult cares, all yeah. these difficult troubles, all these difficult problems. Mm -hmm. Amen. The one, the one in chapter word says, the one mm -hmm. who loves us gives us an overpowering victory over yeah. all these difficulties, over all these distractions, over yeah. all these cares. 
Amen. Yeah, that's how much he cares for you. Yeah. All we need to do is remember, renew our minds, you know, focus again. You know, when you use your GPS going somewhere, you get out of course immediately, they find you a, a way to get back on course. Mm -hmm. We need to focus, we need to renew our minds so that we can once again focus on yeah. where God wants us to send it. us today. Amen. <laughs> you, you're losing your way, you get being distracted. The, world is going to bombard you with all kind oh, of yeah. negative things distractions you got to say wait a minute what was i supposed to do yeah. and, and get back into what the way god wants you to go and focus and stay straight amen and we can do this first john 4 4 says you're a god little children mm -hmm. amen you're a god little children mm -hmm. he didn't call you a sinner That's it. he says you're a, a child of god mm -hmm. amen so see yourself that way People try to say, well, we just love uh, sinners, you know. No. You know since I've accepted Christ, I'm a child of God. Mm -hmm. I may not be, I'm not perfect. <laughs> but still, he loves me. And he calls me a child. Yeah. I'm his child. He's my heavenly father and I'm his child. Uh -huh. He says, you are a God, little children. And have overcome them. Overcome what? The cares, uh -huh. the troubles, the problems. Because greater is he who is in you That's than it. he that is in the world. In so the world. let's go to Jesus. Amen. That's what the whole message is about. Let's go to Jesus. Why go somewhere else? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, everybody's going to, enemy's going to see to, hey, let's go here. Let's go there. But you know, that's not of God. So don't go there. Amen. <laughs> God is bigger than any care. God is bigger. Oh. Father, bless him, Lord. Be with him as he goes this way, Lord, in Jesus' name. God is bigger than any care. God is bigger than any troubles. God is bigger than any problems you have. Uh, I think uh, two Sundays ago, we talked about my God is bigger. We need to remember this on a daily basis. My God is bigger. Well, you know, this, 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 and this is happening. And we magnify our problems so big. But we got to remember, my God is bigger yes from step one yes. before i go anywhere god is bigger amen i'm gonna yes. step out in faith by knowing that my god is bigger yes. i can do all things through christ who yes. strengthens me amen so my god is bigger than yes. any mountain my god is bigger than any storm my god is bigger than whatever you may be facing mm -hmm. amen we all go through different things okay yes so still your god is bigger so where do i need to go Mm -hmm. I need to go to Jesus. Yes. Let's give it all to Jesus. Amen. First John 5 5 says, Who is the one who overcomes the world? Uh -huh. it says, But he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. Amen. Yes. Uh, the world, uh, God's world translation says, Who wins the victory over the world? Mm -hmm. it says, The person who believes that Jesus is the yes. Son of God. Yes. So he made us victorious. Yes, he did. So we got to see ourselves that way. We are victorious through Him. But we can't be away from Him. <laughs> With Him, we are everything. Mm -hmm. With Him, everything is possible. But without Him, we're nothing. That's it. <laughs> Let's remember this. This is so basic, so simple. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know the yes. Bible is? <laughs> acronym for Bible is basic instruction before leaving earth. Yes. <laughs> it's just basic, basic. Basic. You know, people try to complicate it. It's just basic. Just we just gotta grab it and go with it. Mm -hmm. God's care for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. God cares for you and will provide for you. Remember, He is Jehovah Jireh, our provider, and He'll provide for you. He is my provider. Yeah. So we set our priorities and cast all cares on Him on a daily basis. Set your priorities straight. Jesus first. Remember, we already read of. Uh, 633 but 631 says this Matthew 631 says therefore don't worry saying what shall I eat or what shall I drink or what shall we wear verse 32 says for after all these things the Gentiles seek for your heavenly father knows what you need all these things mm -hmm. and, and 33 says but seek first the yes. kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added on to it. you and let's read verse 34 also. What's verse 34 say? Mm. I left that one out. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. I don't 
don't want to read it from the Bible because I can uh, mess it up. Verse 6, 634 says, Take there, take therefore no thought for what? Morrow. For the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Amen. Don't worry about tomorrow. That's it. Let's That's take it. care of today. It says yeah. sufficient unto yeah. the day is the evil thereof. That's it. So don't oh you worry about God. tomorrow today. Okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, we already dreaded if you start thinking about Monday. Oh, man, I got to go back to work. Oh, you know. No, you take care of today. God can use you right now. So mm -hmm. let's not get too far ahead. That's it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> All believers can enjoy a happy and joyful life by casting, again, casting all cares upon the Lord yes. who cares for you. Cast all cares on Him daily so that you can stay in control and not out of control. Amen. Amen. Um, again, you know, the problem is not Him. The problem is yes. not in Him. The problem is here. We yes. got to keep this yes. under control. Yes. Amen. Yes. And how can we do this? By having a relationship, mm -hmm. being in the Word, mm -hmm. and meditating on the Word, and yes. doing the Word. Amen. Amen. Says, so speak to your cares. We talked about this two oh. Sundays ago. You know, you speak to your problems. What are you going to say? Mm. My God is bigger. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My God is bigger. Yes, so, is. them problems have, have those problems have to, have to go. Mm -hmm. Greater is He who is in me than He that is in the, world. in the world. I can do all things through mm -hmm. Christ who strengthens me. You know, this world, one of the biggest things, one of the biggest fears is I can't do it. Mm -hmm. From the time he called Noah, mm -hmm. build me an ark. Whoa, mm -hmm. I can't. I don't know what an ark is. Mm -hmm. Mo told Moses, lead my people. He says, mm -hmm. I'm not good at speaking. I'm not good at leading. Or whatever he's called you to do. Yeah. You know, we disqualify ourselves. Mm -hmm. He sees you differently. He yeah. sees you the winner, the champion, the overcomer. So you see yourself the way he sees you. And the only way you're going to do that is by having a relationship, by getting in His Word, and start changing all the mind thoughts that you have. By uh -huh. changing the way you think. Yes. Amen? Because we've been programmed different by the world and by those we hang around with. Amen. Amen? So we got to be careful. And I'm going to read this, and then we're going to close. Uh -huh. Amen? Again, Philippians 4, 6 to 8 says... In the New Living Translation, don't worry about anything. Don't be anxious for nothing. Instead, pray about yes. everything. everything. Tell God what you need Amen. and thank Him for all He has done. Yes. Seven, and then you will experience God's peace, which uh -huh. exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your heart and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. Uh -huh. Verse eight, and now dear brothers and sisters, one final thing fix your thoughts uh -huh. remember the battlefield is the mind Amen. and you can have negative or positive thoughts but this one says verse 8 says fix your thoughts uh -huh. on what is true yeah. on what is honorable on what is right and pure and lovely and admirable mm -hmm. think about things that are excellent and Amen. worthy of praise Amen. Yeah. so god wants us to cast all our anxieties, all our cares upon Him. Amen. He doesn't want us to be anxious or worried about anything. Amen. So, again, be carefree in reaching your God-given goal. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Did you, did you get something? Yes. <laughs> it blessed me. I hope it blessed you. Amen. So, again, if you are listening, <laughs> listen because he wants to bless you. He wants to set you free from all these other mindsets. Amen. Amen. He wants Praise to set God. you free from all these negative things. But you got to be ready and give yourself totally. Mm -hmm. You know, surrender all, give it all, commit all to him. Amen. And and, 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 and you can do you can do this. Amen. So praise God. Those of you that are watching, those of you listening, you know, it's been a while, but it's time to come home. Yeah. Amen. It's time to come home. You've been running from him so long. It's time <laughs> to come home. And all you uh -huh. gotta do is say, Lord, I've been running from you too long. I've sinned against you. Come into my life, be my Lord and Savior. And guess what? 
He's, 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 he's going to take you back. And he's going to say, yeah. okay, now get up and press on. Yeah, yeah. He's not just going to slap you and, yeah. and, and say bad things about you like no. the world does. Right. He's just going to say, dust yourself off. You've confessed. Mm -hmm. He says he, he'll forgive. He'll mm -hmm. forgive. And now he says, press on. The world's going to say, well, you got to pay this and you got to do this and you got things that you can't fulfill. Just press on with him, amen. Go get yourself in a, in a Bible-based church where they'll, you can learn the Word. You can have people to encourage you, fellowship with, amen. New friends, new people around you, and change those things, amen. amen. So let's remember this, amen. If you have sickness in your body, <laughs> just speak to it. What am I going to speak to? It says, by Jesus stripes, I am healed. So body, line up with the Word of God. Everything functioning. Yes to perfection the way God created it to function. Amen. Amen. So any malfunctions, I call you well yes. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And time to give. Go to our website, NBCBigBen.com and hit that donate button. If you're mailing it, PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas 79843 and Cash App, go to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Yes. God loves you and we love you. So God bless. Amen. Thank you, Lord.